I'm super, super excited to have you on this call and to be able to kind of chat a little bit more about like what we do as coaches and what this would look like if you were to join us or maybe you know someone that this would um, benefit. Um, so we are with Beachbody, we are Beachbody coaches. And so often, and I get it, people hear that name and they like turn their noses up or they run scared because in my opinion, they don't truly understand what we do as coaches as I didn't understand when we first joined, when I first joined and I was asked what it was that Beach Buddy Coaches did. So a little bit backstory about me. Um, I'm Ariane, I haven't introduced myself yet. And I, at the time when I joined as a coach, um, I was a mom of three. My husband was a nurse who was working nights. He was working at two different hospitals and he was going to school to finish his bachelor's in nursing. Um, because that's kind of how you climb the chain of command when it comes to nursing. You have to have your bachelor's to go into administration stuff and different things like that. So he was going to school. We had three kids. Um, I had a kindergartner, I had a three-year-old, and I had, uh, maybe she was one or two. I can't remember. And I was teaching group fitness classes. Um, I taught Monday through Saturday. And I also trained clients. I would train clients in the gym, online, or at home. Um, I kind of fell into this passion when I was graduating, leaving college. Um, I decided that I love fitness and I love nutrition and I love those things. But I was thinking about it like, why did I love it? And I grew up with um, not good self-image of myself, not at all. Like I don't remember loving my body. I don't remember loving myself for probably the first 30 years of my life, to be completely honest. Um, body dysmorphia images. Um, I grew up in kind of in, uh, I don't wanna say like my family was like this, but most of the people that I was surrounded by struggled with their bodies and they would do anything that they possibly could to lose the weight whether they like I remember an episode on Full House where DJ like ate ice cubes and worked out like non-stop to like lose his weight and then she ended up passing out we were like that we would do the cabbage soup diet we would do anything and everything to lose the weight we would never really find that you know, that lifestyle pattern that would help us. We would work out lots, like it just was not a healthy relationship. So I thought if I go into group fitness and I go into personal training and I become certified as a group, as a nutritionist, I would for sure break this cycle. Like I would for sure figure it out. Well, no, you learn as you go through those different things, but it does not really fix the initial problem. And I didn't know what the initial problem was. And so um, when my friend came to me about, I was struggling with nutrition, I was exhausted, I was burnt out, I was tired, and I was at the point of like, maybe this isn't for me. I'm, I, I thought of at that time, I'm like, maybe this nutrition life is not for me. Maybe I should quit and just focus on being a mom and figure things out. And, um, but I was also like, just, I needed nutrition. At that time I had been searching for months to figure out my body. Um, I struggled with endometriosis, so my cycles were awful. So I was to the point where like, do I do a hysterectomy? Like, what do I do? What's my next step? And I don't love modern medicine. It has its place, but sometimes their answers are a little screwy. And yes, I know my husband's a nurse and he works for the medical field, but he always reminds me, Ariane, it's called practicing medicine. So I, I'm probably a doctor's worst nightmare because I'm like, uh, I'm gonna go research it first before I come to you to talk about it and figure it out on my own. That's just how I am, that's how my brain works. And so I was like adding all these things to a green smoothie, like I was doing chia seed, I was doing maca powder, I was doing flax seed. I like had a bag whenever we would travel for my green smoothies because I was like, I've got to get like nutrition in, my body is tired, it's fatigued. And I am trying to just keep up with life. And so when my friend reached out to me and messaged me, first off, I said, H to the no. Um, I am better than that. I am a certified <laughs> nutritionist, personal trainer, group fitness instructor. 
Anyone can be a coach. I don't need anything to do with that community or whatever. And, but I was intrigued by um, this product called Shakeology, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And so, and I was intrigued also by this program, um, which was the 21 day fix. It had portion containers and it was color coded. I was like, oh, that's a visual. That would be so good for my clients. So I was intrigued by those two things. And um, she's like, Ariane, what do you have to lose? There's a 30 day money back guarantee. Um, hey, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, not in here. This is my life. <laughs> Ah, this is like peace of serenity over here. Um, so I was intrigued by by that nutrition. She goes, Ariane, you have nothing to lose. Sign up for and get your money back if you don't like it. You can even send the bag back empty if you want. So that was my plan. Anyway, squirrel over here because like the distraction of the children. Um, my plan was like, I'm going to send that bag back and I'm going to get my money back. That was my plan. I was like, I'm going to be a friend because I really liked her as a friend. I was like, you know, I'm going to support her, but I'm going to send it back, get my money back. I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to do anything with this coaching thing. Like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to appease her so she'll get off me type thing. Well, ordered it within two weeks. I fell in love with how my body felt on it. I fell in love with the newfound energy I had, like there's just something different about me. And it finally, my body started to lose those stubborn pounds that after my third kid that I could not figure out how to lose. Um, and I was like, wow, this stuff is like magical. And so people started asking me like, what's different about you? Your energy is different. Your, your skin looks better. And they're noticing obviously that like I'm losing the baby weight because I finally had quality nutrition going in to my body. And so basically that's where my story started. Um, and I, I don't know how to explain this. Um, it's given us a community to like be able to connect with people. Um, obviously here I am five years later, still doing things, still showing up because I love the product and I love our mission. But more than that, I love the community that I'm able to surround myself with. I lack that in my life. Um, because if you notice, if you look around in a, and I wanna bag on gyms because they're not a bad place, but there was not a community at the gym I was at. Um, there, was, there wasn't the support um, or the understanding of what I wanted as a wife and a mom and for our family. I felt always torn in between going to a soccer game or training a client or can I put my girls in gymnastics because of X, Y, and Z. I have to go teach and train, so no, I really don't. I didn't have the flexibility in my schedule that I wanted. Like why I started in the initial to be a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor and was for the flexibility that I wanted in my life to have something for me and an outlet for me, but also to be a mom and be the mom that I wanted to be. And it just wasn't there because you have to be at the gym when clients can train. You have to teach the classes when the classes are available. So you become like, not a slave to the gym because that sounds really bad, but you become like tied to the gym and to your clients because to earn the income and the money, you have to show up when it's like available. So, um, and then we, we moved and I lost basically everything that I had built up there, but I was able to move with a community that I've built up with Beachbody and I was able to have that community to fall back on. Um, and not only that, like I was able to be able to work out at home after I had, I've had now baby number four, um, he's two. And when we moved here, like there wasn't the setup that I was used to in Vegas. Um, and so we have these incredible programs and this incredible community to keep me and my goals and my mission on track and to have a reason to show up because nine times out of 10 guys, we're not going to show up for our own journeys. Like, let's be honest. Sometimes we need like a little bit more besides ourselves to show up. And so when my challengers are showing up, when they're fighting, you know, cancer or when they're trying to find themselves after their empty nesters or whatever, when they're showing up through the slumps and the dumps of life, 
I'm going to show up too. And I'm going to show up and be a better human because of it. So that is my story, even though it's a little scattered with the children in the background, of kind of how I got started with Beachbody. So I'm going to mute myself and let the next person go. I'm here and the dog is on the floor. <laughs> And so she had left the gym for family and other reasons. Um, so she came to me and she said, let's have sushi. And at that point, my health had started to slide again because I was tired. I was tired of being in the gym for hours and hours and hours a day. I was tired of working. I only made money when I trained a client. So she came to me and she said, let's have sushi. And she kept bugging me about this beach body thing. Said, I, I don't I don't do that. I train and I teach. I don't do that. And about six months before that, someone had given me a packet of Shakeology, and I put it in a shaker cup, and I took one sip, and I spit it out, and I'm like, this stuff is disgusting. Like, I'm not drinking this. I'm not doing this. I'm a trainer. And so um, finally she took me to sushi, and I was like, fine, I'll do it. And so the box sat in my closet for a little living my life so I was looking at this box and Melanie kept after me <laughs> um, I opened it and I did same thing 21 day fix I did 21 day fix extreme to start and when I got out of these colored containers for so long I had tried to make because a lot of problems if there's anyone listening to this who's been in fitness or wanted in the industry our first thought is to develop our own thing and so I tried to do that, but then I realized how much time and money that would take. So I started looking at this program that I thought was a bunch of BS in the beginning. And I'm like, wow, this is, this is like identical, but better than what I was trying to do on my own. And these programs are a thousand times better than me trying to program design all these different workouts for people. Maybe I should try this. So I did. And I first did it myself. And um, it's the first time in my life I didn't feel horrible while I was on a nutrition plan. Um, I say that because what I did before were not nutritionally savvy. <laughs> they were the extremes that I think a lot of people try. But I felt good. I felt good. I wasn't dizzy. I was stronger in my workouts. I'm like, well, there's something. To this so I just started diving deeper and deeper into it and then very quickly I started researching myself because that's what I do I started looking at like what the what are the possibilities with this business and it was really the business side that attracted me because I saw what was possible possible with the income and I saw wow I can actually change my life, life with this instead of keep running in circles and the older I get I can't so, um, the business side is what really attracted me from the beginning. So I got into the business and started working the business. Um, and then I, I never really, really, really did a program. I did it, but 
never completed it like a hundred percent. And then finally, a few years later, ADD Obsession came out and I a hundred percent did it. And I felt better than I ever had in my life. My business really took off at that point. And now I look back, like, I wish I would have done this before. I wish I would have, I mean, if I would have started earlier, think of where I would be kind of thing. But, um, it's changed my own personal life because it's helped me learn how to, that I can work out at home for 30 minutes and actually get the same or even better results than going to the gym on cardio and working out for two, three hours. My body is much more happier. So it, it really changed my perspective about working out and nutrition personally. But as far as the business side, I'm like, I don't have to kill myself anymore by clocking in at a job. And I'm at home right now in the middle of the afternoon with my dogs. And that's the business side. It's what attracted me too. So that's kind of my story. Um, it was an avenue for me to meet goals that I just thought were truly impossible. And it's been, it's allowed me to help people that don't live here, that have always asked for my help. And it's just changed my life 100%. So that's kind of my story, how I got into it. And one more thing, when I was heavy, when I was 300 pounds, whatever, um, I got diagnosed as a diabetic. And I always struggled, I lost the weight, but my A1C was still testing in diabetic ranges. And what really drove it home to me about how great these products were was um, I started drinking Shakeology. I found the way to make it that I liked, and it's my favorite thing in the world now. So I have drank it pretty much every day um, since I started. I think it was like six years ago. Um, that I think it's been six years. And it's the first time in my life that my A1C came down into a level where I'm not testing as a diabetic. And the only thing that really changed in that was nutrition and starting Shakeology. And I drank it every day because it made me feel good. It gave me like all the things around it. But when I saw the, that change, that was huge for me because I had lost the weight. I exercised. I did the things, but I was still sick. Um, and this was the first thing that I felt different and my numbers were different. And so right there, that drove it home for me. Like I need to, I need to share this with people. And I was the biggest naysayer from the beginning of this, but that's how I got started now. And now like, there's definitely no stopping me. Melanie Burns, it is your turn. All right. And on. Yeah, you, you're you're muted. Perfect. Well, hi, I'm Melanie, Melanie Fern. And the way I got started was basically, um, it was a year where I thought I was sliding into perimenopause, like I had turned 40. I had already decided, okay, I, I needed to lose 45 pounds or 35 pounds at that time. And this was going to be the decade for me to really work on my health and fitness so that menopause wouldn't be a problem hopefully. <laughs> so I started, I had quit my job though. And I was able, because I quit my job, I was able to go to Germany where my mom had fallen really, really sick. And I was there to be with my family for three months. And, um, by the time I got back, I didn't have to lose 35 pounds, but pounds. once I came back, <laughs> I had developed like this anxiety that I wasn't sure where it was coming from. I kind of thought it was maybe it was because of perimenopause symptoms. So symptoms. So very much like Ariane, I started adding all these like these superfoods, right? Chia, maca, it is disgusting on its own or in anything, any kind of blend. If you buy it at Whole Foods, I do not recommend it. I threw I threw basically I threw money away. Um so I put all these things into these slushy things that I will my boyfriend and I will like, we'll drink anything if we think that it's healthy. So thankfully both Ariane and Melanie and everyone else was doing the research because I'll just test things and see if I feel better. This stuff was dis disgusting. So I had all this anxiety. And at one point, Ariane asked me if I wanted to be part of her challenge group. And I told her I couldn't go back to the gym because I had gained more weight because I was going to uh, substitute teach at the gym, but I was, 
completely, I just felt so self-conscious. I basically thought I was huge in my mind and there was no way I could go back. It would be so embarrassing. And um, I said, you know, I need something that's like, I'm so anxious. I needed something more mellow. And she uh, suggested that I start with Payo. Um, Payo is a wonderful program. To this day, I have not finished the program because I got the kits and I didn't drink the shake and I didn't do the things didn't go into the challenge groups and obviously you you by now you know we've all kind of like slid from being just a normal person into teaching group fitness so we know what to do and whoever's watching this you know what to do too if you unless you're living under a rock and in which case you probably don't even have a weight weight problem we all know what to do it's just a matter of doing it and that's what i was missing so once I got my head out of stuck wherever it was, um, where the sun doesn't shine, right? Like two months into getting this challenge pack from her, I finally, uh, oh, what it was, my, my boyfriend, he moved to another city temporarily. I thought, like, okay, well, I might as well do this because I also didn't have a connection to a community because by that time I decided to completely quit teaching group fitness because there was just no way I could teach being as heavy as I was at the time. So I completely quit. I started doing the workouts. Um, I switched the program, I think, to something, oh, Insanity 30, because I thought that you were supposed to go as hard as you can. So give it all. And I thought that once you gave it all and you have to quit, that then you're done with the workout. So you're like, you know, 12 minutes in. But what you're supposed to do is you go as hard as you can and then finish the rest of the workout. It's like, oh, okay. But I got results. And once I started re- drinking the shake and I could throw away the maca powder and all the other disgusting things, and it actually tastes, to me, it tasted good as opposed to Melody Hop. But to me, compared to what I had been drinking, this was delicious. This was like a treat and a dessert all in one, right? And so I started drinking it, and after a month, I noticed this, this was one of my perimenopause symptoms, apparently. I had developed adult chin acne once I turned 40. And as a, I suddenly noticed that after a month, I was like, wait a minute, there's nothing happening there. So I talked to Ariana. She thought, after all the research that she had done, that could possibly be the maca powder in the Shakeology. It's like, I'm, I'm sold because I was giving, I was getting scars on my chin. It was just, I was so self-conscious about everything. Insanity, I, I started having results. I was doing the container things, even though the first time that I opened them, I kind of cried because I thought that is not enough food. Like, I just not, this is not working for me, but it did work. And so I got the results and I shared a little bit about him and I don't, I don't remember Melanie's stories the way she does, but apparently I was bugging her. I thought she asked me about it. I don't know. Who knows, right? But we had sushi, and she became my first coach, like a coach who actually really wanted to do it, and she was a friend. So I wanted her to be successful, and there was no way that I could ask her to do this with me and then for me not to show up for myself or for her. So while I could easily have quit again on my workouts, I wasn't going to quit because I had asked her to do this with me and that would have just, there's just no way. So I went from being a coach initially just for the discount because I was not going to coach anybody because I quit my whole fitness job. I went to having results and inviting somebody to do it with me. I guess I was bugging her. (laughs) And uh, that was just embarrassing. That was just the accountability that I needed to keep going. And once I did that, Ariane somehow plugged me into some sort of a team group that Mm -hmm. I was so shy to be part of because I didn't know those people. And I'm definitely an introvert. And I was shy, but I could see, just like Melanie, because she's an extrovert, (laughs) I could see what was possible. And even though I didn't necessarily have money goals back then, I had this community, this need for community because I had quit my job and people were moving away. And typically people just don't have time. Who has time to do stuff for community? So unless you're in a church or you have kids and you're doing things with the kids, like who has time to be part of a community? Most people don't. And if you're a social introvert or if you're an introvert, then you just don't want to. You don't want to get out there. Um, so I was doing it for the community and in time, 
my reasons changed to why I continued um, being a coach because now I know what is possible financially and that is something that I want to grow on. And so there's so many different reasons why um, people come to us and become coaches and it's really just your reason it can totally change. So what we wanted to do now is share kind of a video and then talk to you a little bit about um, 